Okay, welcome to iLecture Online, and here's a really interesting problem dealing with polarizers. Let's say that we have our first polarizer, so that's vertical, and then we have 90 additional polarizer, one after the other, each one of them turned one degree further than the first one. So there's a one degree difference between this one and this one, one degree difference between this and this one, and so forth. So you need a total of 90 polarizers until the last one of the 90 is completely perpendicular compared to the first one. Of course, in total, we have a total of 91 polarizers, including the first one. So what is the intensity of the light making it through that last polarizer? Well, let's go ahead and start the way we normally would. We can say that I sub 1 is equal to 1 half I sub 0. And then we can go find out what I sub 2 is equal to. So I sub 2 is equal to I sub 1 times the cosine squared of 1 degree. That would be the angle of the first difference of the polarizers. And so that would be equal to I sub 1 times, let's find out what the cosine of 1 degree is. 1, take the cosine of that. And then of course we have to square that. So square that, we get 1 I sub 1 times 0 0.9 nine nine six nine five and so on like that okay and then of course we do it again with the second polarizer we can then say that the um, i sub three is equal to i sub two times the cosine of square of one degree so that would be i sub two times oop, subscript that would be i sub two not i squared i sub two times uh, Okay, the same thing again, 0 0.999695 and so forth. And of course, we do that again with the next one. So I sub 4 is equal to I sub 3 times the cosine squared of 1 degree, which is equal to I sub 3 times uh, 0 0.999695 and so forth. And I think you can see the picture here. Now, how do we tie all that together? All right, let's see now. That would mean that I sub 2 is equal to um, I sub 1 times this. That would be, uh, I'm sorry, let, let me take that back here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to start with I sub 3. So since I sub 3 is equal to I sub 2 times 0 0.999695 and so forth. And I sub 2 in itself is equal to this. So we could say that I sub 3 is equal to I sub 1 times 0 0.999695 onward times 0 0.999695 and so forth. And of course that I sub 1 is equal to 1 half I sub 0. And then if you then find I sub 4, you can then say that's equal to I sub 1 times this thing three times multiplied together. And I sub 5 will be I sub 1 times this number multiply together four times with each other, and so forth. So in other words, if you do that 90 times, that means that I sub 91 is equal to I sub 1 times this number, 0 0.999695, and so forth, to the 90th power. OK, oh, don't forget the sub 1. Let's do that. Let's take that number and raise it to the 90th power. Good thing we have calculators these days. That would be a tough thing to do in a slide rule. All right. And so what that means is that I-91, the light coming out at the very end of the 90th polarizer after it's passed through the first polarizer is equal to I sub 1 times 0 0.973. And then realizing, of course, that I sub 1 is equal to 1 half I sub 0, that would be I91 is equal to I sub 0 times 0 0.973 divided by 2. So take this number and divide it by 2. And finally, we can say that the intensity of the light coming after it's passed through 91 polarizers like that is equal to mm, 0 0.486 times I sub naught. And notice that the vast majority of the intensity is lost by passing through the first polarizer where half the energy is lost and after that just a small smidgen only 97 percent or I should say only three percent of that energy is lost as it passed through the next 90 polarizers and that's how you do a problem like that.